Suppose big F of x has a derivative little f of x graphed below and big F of zero equals three. We want to find the values of big F of two and big F of seven. Well, because big F has the derivative little f, that means big F is the antiderivative of little f. And therefore, we can find the value of big F of two and big F of seven using the fundamental theorem of calculus, where the integral of little f from a to b is equal to big F of b minus big F of a. So for example, to find big F of two, we can use the integral of little f from zero to two must equal big F of two minus big F of zero. We can determine the value of this def integral using the graph of f of x here, and we're given big F of zero equals three. So for the next step, let's go ahead and solve this for big F of two by adding big F of zero to both sides. We'd have the integral of little f from zero to two plus big F of zero equals F of two. And now to determine the value of this def integral, we can determine the area bounded by the function and the x-axis over the closed interval from zero to two. But if the area is above the x-axis, the value would be positive. If the area is below the x-axis, the value would be negative. So looking at the area bounded by this function on the closed interval from zero to two, we want to find the area of this triangular region, but because the area is below the x-axis, or because the function values are negative, we do want to view this as a negative value. So using the area formula for a triangle, area equals one-half base times height, we would have area equals one-half times the base of two times the height of three. So the area of this triangle is equal to three square units, but because the area is below the x-axis, the value of this def integral is going to be negative three, and then plus the value of big F of zero, which is three, so notice that big F of two is equal to zero. Now let's determine the value of big F of seven. The def integral of little f from zero to seven must equal big F of seven minus big F of zero. To solve this for big F of seven, we'll add big F of zero to both sides, giving us the integral of little f from zero to seven plus big F of zero equals big F of seven. And now we'll work on determining the value of this def integral by analyzing the graph of our function f of x here on the side. Let's first shade the area bounded by the function and the x-axis over the closed interval from zero to seven. And again, because this area is below the x-axis, for the value of the def integral, we need to view this as a negative value. And because this area is above the x-axis, we can think of this as a positive value. So let's go ahead and call this a sub one. Let's divide this here, call this a sub two and a sub three. So the area of a sub one is going to be equal to one half times the base of three times a height of three. So that's equal to nine halves, even though for the def integral it would be a negative value. And now for a sub two, this right triangle here, the area is going to be equal to one-half times a base of three, and also the height is three. So this is also nine-halves, but this value for the def integral is going to be positive because the area is above the x-axis. And then for area sub three, we can see the area is going to be three square units. So the value of this def integral is going to be equal to negative a sub one, or negative nine-halves, plus a sub two, which is nine halves, plus a sub three, which is three. Again, this value is negative because the area is below the x-axis. These two values are positive because the area is above the x-axis. 
and then plus big F of zero, which we're given as three, equals big F of seven. So these two simplify out, and so we have three plus three equals big F of seven, so big F of seven equals six. I hope you found this helpful.